I'd go to a concert. I was at U University of Tennessee, and so I'd go to Thompson Bowling. <laughs> and I'd wear a crop top. And I didn't care about eating. I wasn't hungry, you know. I was thinking hey, what boys were gonna be there, and I had on little bitty britches. Cause I still had a metabolism and my thyroid was acting right. Okay. So we go to Def Leppard and Journey, and everybody there is our age. And, and everybody's worried about the snack bar, first of all. And I was too. And I was so hungry, and I, and I noticed that people had big Diet Cokes, like big buckets of Diet Coke, and were <laughs> sucking on those big buckets of Diet Coke while the concert was going on. And every once in a while, somebody would stand up and... <laughs> and then they'd sit back down. <laughs> I needed, I needed a little money, just some play money, and to be with people. And even though in the back of my mind, I knew I would do something in show business, which was crazy, because I'd married a man from the foothills of the Appalachia Mountains. We were in the middle of nowhere. And I started selling jewelry to make a little money and be with women. I get out and I'm schlepping this jewelry every night, and I go through every church denomination, every the school teachers, honey, if they were ever elementary, middle school, high school, you know how those things are. It's just, and what wonderful way to get started, it was my audience, it was my demographic. I go in these women's houses, I'm supposed to be talking about jewelry, instead I'm talking about breastfeeding, hemorrhoids, baby being up all night. So women think I'm funny and entertaining, and so they start booking me so far in advance. And I remember saying one night, and this was crazy, but I remember saying, you better book a party with me now. It's either that or Vegas later. And it's gonna cost a lot more. And that, and that may have been some kind of, what is that, foretelling or what, what I don't know. Y'all know what I heard on today's show. Do y'all know who Donnie Deutsch is? Uh, that name's hard to say, Deutsch. Um, the big idea, Donnie Deutsch, he's some big advertising guy that's done like Nike. I don't know what all he's done, but anyway, nice looking man. He was on the Today Show with Matt Lauer and all them. They were talking about Valentine's, and they said that, that men really don't care about Valentine's Day. Um, that women, it's more for women, and that you need to buy your wife and girlfriend, you know, nifty things on Valentine's Day. And they said, what do men want? And he said, men want a woman to do nasty, vulgar things to them. <laughs> and he said, you know, do a surprise, like dress up in something, an outfit like a nursing outfit or a French maid. And all I thought to myself, Lord, if I've got on a French maid outfit, I know Chuck, he'd say, Lynn, get some spick and span. We're gonna fix these baseboards that you hadn't washed the whole time we've lived here. I'm gonna dust them and then I want you to go over them with spick and span. And then just after I had ruined my back, after a day of doing the baseboard, then he would come up to me and try to Mount me, I guess is what people say. Is that nasty? I'm sorry. I don't mean that. I'm sorry. I need validation from something. I don't know if it's my childhood or what, but it gives me that rush and a good feeling knowing that I'm making people laugh. But I also like a good, I like a good story. And I like to work out a good story. And I like to, when it hits. And I know that, you know, that hits with people. I like that. That's a good feeling. It is rewarding. People say to me, you know, you've made my night. I needed this. I haven't laughed in so long. Uh, you know, all that, that feeds me. It really does. You know, people are so good to me that I just want to make sure I'm good to them.